Hi, I'm Bert Seelman. I'm here to talk to you about health and what makes it. What really makes health? I'll tell you what makes health. It's our ability. It's our decision. It's our choices on a day-to-day -day basis. We are a renewable resource. Yes, we're completely renewable. Doctors don't know that we're renewable. They don't think that we're renewable. They don't even understand that we're renewable, or at least they don't come from that premise in any way, and you'll understand why in a few minutes. They don't know how to feed us. They don't know how to exercise us. They don't know how to tell us certain things happen to us or how sicknesses begin. But we go to them for a cure and they can't tell us how to even prevent something. I mean, who's stupid there? But let's think about this. You'd never want to trust a skinny chef, a fat doctor, or a fat coach. That's for sure. Uh, there's something obvious there that says that uh, someone might know something, but they sure don't practice it. So how can that really be their belief system? So let's talk about these things as I work with it every day with terminal illnesses, cancers. Check my other videos, YouTube, some of the things that I write, especially on incurable and uh, untreatable. There is no such thing. And here's why. It's because we as a person are a chemical, electrical being. Electrical in the fact that we have a spirit. We know that we have an electric force field that starts when the sperm meets the egg. There's an electrical charge there. When that spirit no more is within us, we can't move, we're dead. The electricity in our body stops flowing. That, uh, even though man's law says that a spirit is the animating force. So we're electrical and we're chemical in the fact that we're made of proteins, carbohydrates, fats, minerals, vitamins, and all these other nutrients are chemicals. So how do we resupply this and how do we grow? Well, through this electrical charge, we grow and we change and we attract or disattract or speed up or slow down our processes by different combinations. So health comes from the word heal. Heal means to restore to the original. Healing means to restore to the original, even in the Bible. Now today, the word cure is what most people want. They run for the cure. Well, you go ahead and run for the cure because I won't take part in that because a cure means to relieve the symptom. A cure means to like smoke meat, cure meat in a smokehouse. It means to cover something up and keep it for a while the way it is. So I don't care for a cure. I don't want a simple relief. I want to be restored. And the people that I care about, I definitely want them restored. And I want them to live to a, a long life. Uh, the family and my family members, most of them only lived into their late 40s, early 50s. I'm going into the 70s soon. Uh, I've kept all my hair past 25 or they didn't. And it's all because of the things that I ate and the way that I believed and the way I kept my, uh, my belief system. So one of the things I want you to know is that you have a new stomach lining every four days, a new layer of skin every 28 days, and every 16 months, every cell in your body is brand new. So with this ability to replace ourselves or be a renewable resource, think about what the potential is you have to change your health on a very short-term basis. I mean, literally, we've seen people that have had cancer three times in one year, and in six weeks, they can't find the cancer. This is just one of many, many things that's possible if you want to believe. Check our videos on cancer. Check them on uh, diabetes. Check around, and you'll see what I'm talking about. These programs I've been developing for 43 years. So the first thing you need to realize is, is that food is the best thing that you can take in, and that food is the number one thing that changes who you are on a day-to-day -day basis. And whether you get enough of it, on a regular supply basis. So food needs to be quality plus quantity and in the right sequence because mixing the right foods makes a difference. The next thing you want to know is, is that you want to have nutrients supplied because today we don't have good food. In 1936, our country had fields that were already worn out. Uh, they sent letters to Congress saying so. So if you'll add extra nutrients to your, to your system, if you'll think about supplementation, this is what's wise. I call it the expensive urine principle. I would have people rather pee out 10% extra vitamins than to lack 10%. To lack 10% means you lose every 10th day, every 10th month, every 10th year. And that's a lot of time. And then if you add stress to that, how much more are you losing? So it's your decision. So I would rather have you have 10% more. So put those supplements at the top of your food list. Eat better groceries. Buy more foods that are selectively raised. Avoid genetically modified foods. Uh, stop putting the bad things into your body that neutralize. To do all the good things you want to do to yourself, but not stop putting the bad things in. You're only going to neutralize all your good effects. So health is made by you on a day-to-day -day basis according to the foods that you eat. 
Now, you can avoid uh, the high expense, if you want to call it that, which it really isn't. You're going to pay for it one way or another. You can eat the better, the better foods. You can eat the best foods, or you can buy the very best, but mainly supply the supplements through a good natural source, and that's a more convenient and a more cost-effective way to do it. And the thing I want to have you leave with today is that food, every time you eat food, every time you eat either does something to you or something for you. Now, do you want that food to help you or hinder you? And if you get into doing it too much the wrong way, the effects are going to be there. So if you're starting to go downhill and you're ill, change your basic dietary intake and you'll see that your state of condition will change dramatically. I mean, it's consistency on your part. This road of life that we travel, people say the road of life is tough. I say, no, it's the condition of the vehicle traveling the road. If you'll eat four quarts of water a day that's purified and nothing special, and you'll get yourself a little bit of circulatory work, you'll eat more complete proteins, not beans, peas, rice, corn, and potatoes, but more of the complete proteins, and more lean uh, leafy vegetables, more low glycemic vegetables, and get the good fats that are not heated or, or in any way contaminated, you'll find you'll be doing much better. So it's your decision on health. Health is completely changeable. It's up to you, and God bless, and make better decisions. And that's how health is made.